you are one. You cannot see yourself. You cannot see your unicity, not phenomenally. You can somehow know it in the most intimate, intuitive sense, that you are all-inclusive, that all knowledge, all knowingness must be arising out of and within your own Self. There is a knowingness which cannot be put down on paper. It is a felt knowingness. So if this is what you are speaking, I accept your statement. I can see what I am not. Hmm? I can see that the objects I really am not, they are connected with me, they appear in me, they are maybe appear out of my own Self, but I cannot say I am held in them, because I am here to observe them. So what can I be? Uh, so this discovery, not speculation, has to happen. What actually, finally, ultimately, and ultimately doesn't mean in time, eventually, it means at the centre, at the core, at the most intimate, hmm? that within which even intimacy is known. Uh, can that be known? And I say, non, non-phenomenally, there is a knowingness. Hmm? that I am that. But be careful. Something is quick to say, yes, yes, this is what I am. And this evidence must be rejected. And the one who is giving this evidence must be rejected. And there must be the discernment to know this is false. Mm? It's the intellect that is saying this. Because when it is felt, almost you are struck into silence. Therefore, I say, it is not merely a conceptual answer that is sought, but perhaps a response that will take place. And I've seen it. I've seen the form when there is the absence of the presence of you, as an object, as a psychological entity. When the seeing comes, that is not there. And this is this moment. This is this moment. And it is as though mind does not want this to happen. Mind means my collected self, my accumulated impressions, memory, idea of who I am, who the world told me I am, who my parents told me I am. Yeah. That doesn't want to find this out. Nobody wants you to be free. Nobody wants you to be free. No one is invested in your freedom. A rare being is interested in your freedom, wants you to be free. Not even wants you, knows you are free. Eh? The others, most people don't want you to be free. Even family, your parents, they don't want you to be free. What good are you if you are free? Eh? Will you pay my rent? No, I don't want it. Nobody wants you to be free, because when you are free, no one can control you. It's not that you are uncontrolled, it's not that you are a rebel, not a rebel. Huh? So this desire for freedom must arise from within your own being. Must be. Only one who knows the beauty of coming home to your own Self will encourage you. They know the signs. When you are not available to them socially, they will respect you. They say, Okay, yeah, he's yeah. He's going. But there's no goodbyes. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs>